Do not adjust your set, folks. It is I, Will, the comic book guy of the Wolf Den, here with something a little different. This week, Telltale released their Batman game, Batman the Telltale series. Uh, this is episode one, and I figured, um, what the hell? Let's go through the first episode. We're not going to do the whole thing. Uh, we'll do the first 15 minutes, let's say, and just, just see what this whole thing's about. And Cortana wants me to open something. Not going to do that. I'm just going to hit OK. You have to bear with me. This is the first Let's Play I've done solo, so I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just hoping everything technically works out because I didn't really have a backup plan for this week. Get the full experience. Uh... Not now. Not interested in doing any fancy multiplayer that they have. I know they have some really interesting multiplayer where well, basically like other people watch the show and they tell you what to do. Um, I'll save that for a live stream if I ever do one. Uh, let's just go in. Episodes. Start episode one. I have the season pass, so when their episodes come, I'll play those. Just the slider. There we go. I can see it. I won't do these Let's Plays for every episode, but I'll at least do it for the first one just to get a get a feel of it and show you guys uh, what it's about and just see how well it does Batman justice. Uh, Bat Tech Color. Let's go with blue. That's the most Batman-ish color. Batman doesn't really go with a lot of red. Now, like I said, I don't want to do the whole episode because it is a narrative-based game, so I want you guys to like go out and experience it yourself. I don't want to spoil anything, but just get a good feel of like what the game is going to be about. I'm interested because I'm interested to see how they handle the combat. I did a previous episode uh, where I talk about how the hell they're going to handle combat and now we'll get to see. If you played any Telltale game, that should look familiar. Or should be familiar to you. And TV cut out. Oh, hopefully. I'm hoping that if the TV cuts out, there's still picture. Because I don't exactly have a great setup right now. Hey, what are you? That's pretty gruesome for a... I think this is a T-rated game. But then again, the last Batman game had like five people shoot themselves in the head, so... Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. There's Commissioner Gordon. The hell? Get back! Gordon. They're on the 52nd floor. I'm going in. Hey! Wait! Wait for backup! Don't need it. Take the stairs. I heard Stuart sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Oh, there he is.
He doesn't look good. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. Clearly you can. And Alfred, why didn't you patch him up? Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. I just realized I should have turned subtitle on. I'm sorry about that. Doesn't help me that my screen keeps cutting out at like important times. <laughs> but I got him. Back to back, circle up. I know that Telltale games have a reputation for being like quick time events, and that's not exactly true, but so far that's all I've been doing. Which is fine, but with Batman you're used to more action-oriented games. I know you're there trying you to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> See what they just made it like really fast, all the prompts, which works for Telltale, but as working here, shit. That was cool. But like I said, with Batman, honestly, I think the Arkham they should have found a way to put the Arkham combat. In there. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. Huh? Payday. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Doesn't call him Al. Batman has never called Alfred Al. I'm 90% sure of that. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. 
The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me what? <laughs> a villain? Sounds She'll remember fun. that. Gotta admit it. Catwoman the Clementine you give of the a game. Good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. His voice is awful. He's hit Catwoman before, but like, it's still weird to see. It's weird to have you do over. that. I wouldn't be so sure. I go to all that trouble for this. Shit! Why do they put a myth can't be killed? Thing on his voice. You, however, are flesh and blood. <laughs> God damn it! That explains that. No! Wait! <laughs> I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Don't struggle or you'll fall. Oh, but that's what you crave the struggle. I know men like you. Bye, Bat. <laughs> oh, she took my grappling hook. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. 
Well then. Time to save the city. So, so far it's good. It's a lot more in line with their other games, but you know, it works and it works for Batman. I don't like the audio filter they put on Troy Baker's voice, but again, I don't like them putting audio filters on Batman's voice. You can check Thank the video you. for that. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed they make under look Mayor really Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. <laughs> fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I, I tee him up that. and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne. Thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Say that. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, hmm. Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. I'm not going to have Batman Our finish home. the drink because Batman doesn't drink. This will help you too, Bruce. That's a fact. You can Once look I that up. Once I turn the city around as mayor, you'll be a hero Batman for funding my campaign. See him punk the superhero slogan. world. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh... Our hope is in Harvey. Look at you. That's not half bad. I'm going to use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? I wonder Come if he'll on. become Two-Face in this game. This is an updated Telltale engine, and it shows, and it looks good. The other ones were very, like, they looked good, but you can still tell they were, like, lacked behind all the other games of the genre. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, Harvey will remember no, that Bob. too, I'm sure. I'm not a politician, I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this As city's woman in gold luster walks faded years them. ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall. 
that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, it seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. The this is very help, much a year one we're story. We're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility. Like an almost stereotypical year one story. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. Thank you both. I don't know if I like Harvey's design in this game. <laughs> I'm not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. He's it's huge for one. Endorsements. He's bigger than Batman, which just doesn't seem right. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, it's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Slowly introducing Wayne, Playboy you've, Bruce Wayne into you've got our game something here. On your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like. Oh, this? No, it's nothing, it's just, uh, Cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Jerk. <laughs> Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Hmm. Excuse us, Miss Vale. That's a change. Falcone has always been known as an out-and-out mobster. Well, what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe he can change your mind. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Yeah, Harvey Dent would never have invited Falcone to a fundraiser. Play nice. I'm, you know, I feel I've like been I'm in the playing too nice for, for Batman. House. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. 
Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Carmine Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts ass. say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill had... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. Christ. I feel like I'm playing more as Bruce Wayne than I did as Batman. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. I mean, I know they hyped the game up as that, but, but... in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine, this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Oh, you did not want to bring my father into this. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. No, I wouldn't. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer didn't buy in the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. I think I just did the whole episode by accident. <laughs> oh, there's no video? No. So that's, uh, you know what? I think we'll call that a day. That's a lot longer than I wanted to. Um, so yeah, that was it for Telltale's Batman game. So overall, it's very much in line with uh, they're past games. It's a lot faster paced, all the combat stuff. I'm going to do this so that it doesn't move any further. 
Um, yeah, it's a lot faster paced than their previous stuff. The graphics are a lot better, not just because it's running on uh, an Xbox One, but because they updated their engine. It does run really well. Uh, in terms of story, so far, it's a very typical Batman Year One style story. It's, all the tropes are there. Harvey Dent is the politician. Bruce is trying to find balance between his, you know, being Batman and being Bruce Wayne. Uh, only Catwoman is in it. Only Falcone is in it. Um, so, yeah, it's it'd be interesting to see where this goes, especially during the later episodes. I'm wondering if they are going to add... Um, the super villains to it, like the Joker or the Penguin or anything or anyone else other than Catwoman. I've noticed, um, at least while, as I'm playing, I felt like I was answering as myself, <laughs> and what I would answer is not what Batman would answer or should answer. So that's something I'm gonna have to keep in mind as I play a little bit more of it. I'm definitely gonna be playing more of it. Uh, it's very interesting. Very. I'm really interested to see where this goes. Um, so yeah, that's just a little piece of Telltale's Batman game, or sorry, Batman the Telltale series. Uh, let me know what you think down below or anywhere on the internet. You can do all the usual YouTube stuff. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I promise next week, an actual regular comics episode uh, with the full scripts and camera work and whatnot. See you then. I'm assuming it's going to be similar to Telltale's other recent games, something that's more of an old school adventure game, more focused on story and puzzles than it is on hardcore gameplay. Which is fine, but since this is Batman, I feel like it needs one more thing. So what's their grand solution? Well, the first 30 minutes of the film is all new content, focusing on Batman and Batgirl as they try to take down a stereotypical mobster. Which, yes, is not the most groundbreaking of ideas, but it's meant to serve as a prequel to the main Killing Joke story and tell the origin of why Barbara isn't Batgirl during the events of the book. 